I'm here with my friend Earl over in Laverne. Uh, Earl, tell us why you called me. Well, I got a, some pictures here of a nursing home with old people in it, handicapped, and uh, they're infected with bed bugs and roaches. And of course, you can't get a picture of a bed bug because the work employees has to dress and undress out in the parking lot. And they've been told if they report this to the state or officials, they'll be fired. And I'd just like to show the public of what's going on in a, in a nursing home up in East Tennessee. Okay. You got a gentleman here, an old man that's in a wheelchair and can't do nothing. Yeah. With roaches crawling on his wheelchair. Yeah. And there's roaches in the floor and the nasty floor's never been cleaned up. Got several pictures of roaches. Yeah. And the employees has to dress and undress out in the parking lot and spray down because it's so nasty inside. Yes. And back in the winter, they had the sewer backed up and running out in the floors. I don't know if they ever got that fixed up or not. Well, and I, I think this ought to be investigated. Well, I was asking you, why, do you, why does this matter to you? Well, <clears throat> I'm a Vietnam veteran. I'm in disabled, and I don't want to go to a place like this if I have to yeah. and be treated as a human being. Yeah. And they're arresting people for mistreating animals. Why can't they do something about this? This is human beings. Yeah. And I think somebody needs to do something about it. Yes. Well, I told you, I've got a sister at a nursing home. My mom right now is in assist living. And the turnover rate's really high. A lot of times the pay is, is not that much. Um, and sadly, you know, it's hard to get people to work today. And so. Yeah, but if people are working there, they don't need to be threatened of losing their job for reporting this. And that's what you've been told? That's what I've been told. I've got a cousin that works there. Yeah. And <clears throat> they don't lie, so. And it's from my hometown. Yeah. And I don't care where it's at, but people are not being treated that way. Yes, sir. This is the United States of America. Yes, sir. If you can invite everybody in the country in, why can't you take your own care of your own people? Yeah. Some of them may be veterans in there that fought for this country and they're going to be treated like dogs or worse than dogs, really. Yeah. Well, I told you we're going to keep this short and simple, and you vetted with me earlier about some things, and, um, you know, I asked you why it matters to, to you, and, you know, you brought up, what was it about a, recently someone was arrested for not taking care of animals? You were yes. sharing that? It was on the news yesterday evening, <clears throat> July the 8th. Uh, they arrested a couple for 30-some dogs and cats in Dixon County. They're charged yeah. with animal cruelty. Why can't these people be arrested and prosecuted for human cruelty? Yes, sir. Yes, now, sir. That's my question. Yes, sir. Well, I know a lot of people will see this, and we'll, um, we'll reach out and um, just at least have this place inspected. And um, I appreciate it. If they need to get contact me, they can contact me through you. Yeah. Well, I appreciate your passion because you you called me the other day, want me to come over, and uh, you made me a fresh pot of coffee, and, uh, and an what, apple pie. An apple pie. What was the mothers you got us last year? I got some cherry pie. <laughs> uh, who's that lawmaker? That that local elected official we were talking about the other day, or this morning? Steve No. Steve No. You got any dirt on that guy? Oh. <laughs> He's a good guy. He's helped you a lot, ain't he? Yeah. He has. Okay. All right. Well, we're going to get this out there, man. And thank you for at least caring about the least of these. Well, thank you. I hope, I hope somebody will take care of this. All right. Take care, man. Thank you.